crank it on a file, you go to open it and it won't open. Absolutely a horrible feeling. Today I'm gonna to show you guys one workaround that may work for opening up a file that's crashing or won't open. Before we hop into the video, quick announcement for you guys. I recently dropped a super fire complete start to finish music production course. It's designed to give you every single tool you're ever gonna to need to produce professional quality music in 30 days. Either if you're totally brand new or if you've been producing for a while but you're just struggling to get your sound to the next level. It's over 17 hours of content distributed over 30 days of learning. We also have a super fire community where you can hop in and ask questions, free monthly sample packs, all kinds of cool stuff. Also, we've recently worked out a deal where if you sign up for the course, we can actually give you guys educational discounts on Ableton Live, FabFilter, Isotope, Sound Toys, Kilohertz, Arturia, and Output. So you could literally save thousands of dollars. And as of right now, the course is on sale, so it costs less than dinner. So definitely worth it, definitely worth checking out. Let's get into the video. We're gonna open up Ableton. And now what we're gonna do is we're gonna navigate to where the project is at in our browser over here. So for instance, I have my Ableton project saved on desktop under an Ableton folder, and this is gonna have all of my different projects. So let's say for instance, can't use my phone. This one won't open. There's a plugin crashing it. Whatever reason, this happens. Uh, what we're gonna do is we are gonna come in here and we are going to go to where the ALS is. So we're gonna come here to, can't use my phone ALS, which stands for Ableton Live Set. And then what we're going to do is we're going to slowly start dragging in either these groups or these individual tracks. So I'm going to come over here and drag this in. So that's group one. Now we're going to drag in group four. And basically what you're going to do is you're just going to drag in the groups or the tracks one at a time. And what's going to happen is if you do have a plugin that's just absolutely tanking Ableton and crashing it, you're going to be able to pinpoint which track it is. And you might have to sacrifice that track or it might, I've had it to where it just opens up doing it in this method of just dragging it in instead of opening up the Ableton track. So if that happens, go and look for any fishy plugins you might have, ones maybe you downloaded or ones that might not be compatible. There's ones I've, I bought before that do this and delete that plugin and move on without it. Or if you get to the point where the track won't open, then you can say to yourself, okay, I know it's this track, delete that track, and you have 99% of your other tracks there. So I hope this helped you guys. I know it saved me a ton of time. Make sure to like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.